Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Explosify here and I just thought I would let you guys know like where I've been for the past, you know, month. Well, uh, I moved back home. As you can see, everything in the background is like different. Um, yeah, I moved back home and I'm back with my parents and my family and everything until I find like a new place to move, but I'm just here for now. The reason I moved back was because college for, well, college for 2017 slash 2018 is over. We are done with it, it's summer now, and that's partly why I moved back. The other reason why is because I'm gonna go to a different college down here that has a better science program, so yeah. Anyway, I also wanted to talk about my military experience because these past few days have been pretty hectic with it. If you guys didn't know, I am joining the Army National Guard, the Oregon Army National Guard, because I live in Oregon. And in order to do that, you have to get through this whole process called MEPS. I think it's the Military Enlistment Processing, uh, is what it stands for. And pretty much you, that's where they fill out all the paperwork. They make sure you're okay medically and everything like that. In high school, I had a few anxiety attacks. So MEP sent me to a psychiatrist to make sure I didn't have anxiety or anything like that. And uh, of course I didn't. Where MEPS is, is pretty far away from where I am now. So I had to take a flight there and it's like an hour fly, right? So I got there, got picked up by my recruiter, went to MEP, went, went to a hotel that they rent out for us go to sleep, wake up at 3 a.m. to get ready to go to MEPS, go to MEPS at about 4 a.m. And then we get there and all the doctors, literally their job is to try to disqualify you from the military. They're not there to help you at all. They're just there to disqualify you, that's it. So really nobody tells them about their medical problems. They just say, yes sir, no ma'am, no sir, yes ma'am, whatever. And so when they found out that I have anxiety, they sent me to the psychiatrist the other day up there and I took a shuttle for an hour to go to Vancouver, Washington to see a psychiatrist in Washington, right? I, I see the guy for 20 minutes, the shuttle's already gone dropping off someone else. I walk out and I'm waiting there for another hour for the shuttle to come back. It's fucking ridiculous. The wait times is the most annoying part. And then the shuttle comes back to pick me up and we're taking another guy to his appointment because he had, he I asked him, he tore in his ACL back in high school and this dude is about 30 years old and they still want to make sure that he's okay. He tore it back in high school. Anyways, back to the subject. We had to take him to Beaverton in Oregon, which is another like hour drive. Dropped him off. Then we had to go back, pick up the other dude that he dropped off earlier. And that's like a 20 minute drive from there. And then we picked him up and then it was about an hour and a half to two hour drive back to MEPS. Once we get back to MEPS, literally they told us to turn our paperwork and then go wait for the doctor to call us back. We waited for almost three hours, three hours for the freaking doctors to call us back there for a 10 minute doctor interview for each of us. It didn't even take 10 minutes for one of us. Like the other guy went in, talked to the doctor for a little bit, came out. I went in, talked to the doctor for a minute, came out. It, it was ridiculous, three plus hours. And we were talking to this one guy that was in the same room as us waiting with us and he was just waiting for a waiver form to be signed by the Oregon Army National Guard. And it took him six hours. He was waiting in the waiting room for six hours. Really, I mean, I get what they want us to get up early because they know it'll be a long process. I got out of there probably about like two or three in the afternoon, went to the airport, got to the airport three hours before my flight. So, you know, I was eating pizza. I was just trying to find stuff to do. Uh, charging my phone, listening to music, whatever I could do to keep myself busy. Because I'm a pretty productive person. I don't like to just have free time like that uh, where I have nothing, nothing to do. It's really, really annoying. If you're going into the military at all, either after high school or a little bit after high school like I am, uh, just be aware that you're going to have to wait a lot. Like You're just going to have to sit there and wait and wait and wait. Just got to be patient, you know? You're training they're training your patients to see how patient you really are. So definitely, um, definitely try to train yourself to be patient. Okay. Anyways, guys, I just thought I'd tell you guys what's going on for this past month and why I haven't been uploading. I really do want to start uploading again, but it's super hard to get back into the groove of it, but I will try my hardest to do that. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.